Hello everyone, it's Boy and Who here. Welcome to more Let's Play Spot Scrapings in Poor Month, Episode 7. Here is high class. <laughs> in that episode, we went to Sardines, got some green glasses, got some squeaker string, got some clarinet, John the Sea Snake out ward helmets, found the oxygen tanks, wide and sanded rocket, but Patrick screwed up and didn't get an oxygen to for it, so now we're here and bottoms up. I, I and now we got a quarter in the slot in order to use this phone. Uh, and once again, SpongeBob is broke. It's empty. Oh, I that doesn't help I have either. So yeah, we're now bonds up. I wish snobby, I, I, snobby place. Yeah, this is a lad chat angry, So let's Andy, talk to Sandy. Is there anything I can do to help? Yeah, go get these oxygen tanks filled with oxygen springs. It's just up the road. Okay. Gee, I sure hope nothing, nothing Andy, getting away. Is the rocket broken? <laughs> well, it's damaged, but it's like nothing I can handle. I'm pretty sure I can fix it given the time. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go look for that oxygen place. It's just up the road. You can't miss it. How do I collect oxygen? Well, the uh, oxygen comes out of these bunkers in the ground. So you just use the empty tanks on the mouth of Okay, we get Sandy. And it'll suck up the air like a vacuum. Okay. I say so. Now I gotta go, Sam. See you around. Okay. So we are gonna look at the location, which is oxygen springs. Let's go in and get an <coughs> let's go in and get an oxygen. Members only check. Members only. Jacket required. I wonder what hmm. they mean by that. Well, we're not a member. But let's say we're just walking as guests, so let's I go have to in. Speak through the intercom to get this gate to open. Oh. Fine, I'll this can away. Hello. Welcome to Oxygen Springs Resort and Spa. Our I'm clearly French. Air rejuvenate and revitalize. How may I well, help not, you? No, it's not French, actually. I don't know. Hi. I just wanted to use your oxygen thingies for I can't a tell what. Why, you would be more than welcome to. Unfortunately, you don't is. seem to meet our dress code. We require jackets, you see. Oh, Jackets? sorry. Oh, I don't Isn't have one. in there wearing swimsuits? Well, yes, they are. But before they're allowed to change into swimsuits, they must be wearing jackets. Oh, I guess that makes sense. Of course Not. it does. Just don't think about it too much. And please I'm come sorry, that makes no stupid... That makes no sense whatsoever. Why would you oh, need a jacket God. to go into an oxygen I spa? I really need some oxygen. It's really important. I see. What I don't see is a jacket. That's because I don't have one. Great. I'm happy for you. So, uh, can I come in? I'm not sure what part of jacket required you don't understand. Mm, the required part. Oh, okay, well, why? I solely saw this car a million times side. away. Now, Screw you, camera. You are an absolute dickbag. I'm sorry. You're an absolute dickhead. You're an absolute no, asshole. On, Screw me, you. Your old pal, SpongeBob. Would that name mean something to me? Because it doesn't. Please come back when you get oh, a jacket. Oh, please just screw Thank yourself. You. Just let me in. Oh, I need some damn oxygen. I guess I better be going. So I can actually get home. Or oh, unless it's power, that's the case. Jesus Christ. That's so stupid. Ah, even the sea. Ugh. Well, we can magically repair this billboard. And look here. Sublime Seafoods. 555-4444. Five, 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 four, 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 four. Well, that seems easy enough to remember. The world's most simplest mobile phone number. 555-555-4. Meanwhile... What is this? Someone My here looks coconuts. very angry. Sad blue. Why can't we all just get along? I know. Why do they have to be assholes in the planet? Let's talk to Sandy about this Hi, whole charade. I'm back! Sandy, they won't let me into Oxygen Springs. They said I don't meet the dress code. But you're wearing a tie. Mm. They said I need a jacket. Why do you need to have dress code in the My first old place? My friend Cowfish Craig might have one you can borrow. <laughs> he lives in Waverly Hills. Try checking with him. Okay. Hey, we just Sandy. I just saw in the meanwhile cutscene. So now we got a new, another new location to go to. Also, I must mention the supply and Seaver's phone number. Yeah, that'll be important because there's a phone booth there. We must call them. That's just why, but you probably I know. don't want to do that. So if we click that coconut tree, it'll drop a coconut, and we can actually pick it up. It'll definitely be important for later. 
But let's walk out this gate. And it, it's closed. I don't think I'm heavy enough to activate this gate. We can only activate it by putting Those enough pressure on the like pressure plate. Neptune. What a swell guy. A really odd way to enter in it. I guess only heavy fat people can come here. And trying to go around and just go through the loop. We can turn this water pump though. What does that do? Well, if we go back here... Look at that, the fountain is now on. It's now spurt water. And since we're a sponge, Bob, we can suck up all the water. Oh boy, I feel bloated. All that water may be extra heavy. Hmm. So now we're heavier and bloatier. We can now activate this pressure plate. Mm, looks like the gate got jammed open. Good. So let's go in here Those now. houses look like they cost a lot of money. And yet there's a lot I've of witch snobs here. Home is his castle, but that is just nuts. Look, there's a golden mansion, you know, a dollar sign shaped to live in a house that's traveled. Oh, Jesus. That mansion looks kind of plain compared to the mm. others, but I take it. <laughs> oh, it's SpongeBob. I wonder what they fill that pool with. Probably sparkling spring water. Ugh. Anyway, I can see a person at the Golden Mansion. I could best run that drawbridge. I love wherever I see there's just a ordinary shack there. Oh now come on, hmm. there has to be a better use for money My than that. Golden coconuts. My golden coconuts! <laughs> I wonder what there's that kind guy of again. Drive. That palm tree is leaning right over that fence. Hmm, no wonder it trot all this cold coke on the outside. To even look at that house. My golden coconuts. Oh shut up. My golden coconuts. Oh It's just a damn coconut. You're which that which ready. On this fine day? Not good. I'm angry. I can tell from your face. You angry? The sun is shining. Your house is made of gold. The sky is orange. Yeah, gold, and it's all mine. You hear? You can't have it. Whoa, whoa! Okay, I don't okay. Want don't it. be Why so witch so and snob. I'm fish. sorry for yelling. It's just that no good neighbor of mine, Cowfish Craig. Not only oh, does that's he what make the whole about. neighborhood look bad by living in a tool shed, but he took one of my golden coconuts. Hey, don't Do this his you house. have any idea how long it takes to grow a golden coconut? Longer than a platinum plum? Not funny. Anyway, mm. now I have to stay out here and guard my own property. Sheesh. Jeez, what's Maybe your problem? I can help you to get your golden coconut back. You would do that? I'll tell you what. You get my coconut back, and I'll give you a king's ransom. A king's ransom? What the heck huh? is a king's Sounds ransom? Good to me. Okay, I'll give it a try. Why would Cowfish hmm. Craig take one of your coconuts? Search me. He's probably angry at us for trying to buy out his land, but his shack is an eyesore. It's keeping all of our property values down. Well, he has as much right to live here as you do. Exactly. Actually, he has more. He was here first. Waverly uh, Hills so. was built around him. Well, there you go. That doesn't mean mm. I have to be happy about it. Oh, boohoo! You, know you can where shut I can up. Get a jacket. They won't let me into Oxygen Springs without one. I don't have any to lend you. Maybe oh. you could get one from Sublime Seafoods. They have lots of extras. Well, I gotta hmm. go. Now I have reason Please to go there. Keep off the path. It'll tarnish. I would just shut up, you wet snob. Ugh. Sheesh. Oh, sheesh you. Sheesh yourself. Um. So yeah, I looked. I tried to look at what Kings once is, and all I got was a Woundscape Crest. So I don't know. Mm. A halfway sunk sink. Looks looks fine. That Maybe a bit looks messy, like a but oil drill. hmm. Let's go inside for the cowpis Craig. Sweet Jack. Interesting. I feel bad for him. He keeps making fun of by all the witch snobs. Well, it's what Sally supposed to talk to. Looks like there's an old cowboy boot in there. Hmm. I think he's watching the good, the bad, and the orca. <laughs> Good, bad, and the ugly, clearly. Eh, hope he doesn't sprout a leak. 
They'll get drenched. Hmm. Me. Me. Ba. No wonder he's I don't know. friends with Sandy. They both have Texas on the brain. Hmm. Easy your success with Texas. Yeah. Me. Nice place you got here. Much obliged, partner. Yeehaw, I'm a stereotype cowboy. Folks around here call me Cowfish Craig. Not that I give two hoots what folks around here do. Aha! Uh -huh. Good for you. You're the one Sandy <laughs> sent me to find. I should have known. May I call you Cowfish? I'm not too particular about names and such. A man is a man by virtue of his deeds, not his title. Oh. An urchin by any other name would still You, Jojo, like crazy and Sardines would go Gosh. well together. <laughs> ah. Okay. Um. Hey, do you have any idea where I could find a jacket? I need one to get into Oxygen Springs. Now, what would you want to go there for? Nothing there but guppies with their cellular telephones and their fancy yeah. shoes Something and their so, internet. Don't be so uh, old-fashioned. Do yourself a favor. Don't bother. Well, actually, I really need to go there. It's the only place I can get oxygen mm. to refuel ah. my friend's rocket. Oh, well, in that case, I wish you luck. I'll lend you one of my jackets, but uh, I don't own any. Sometimes I go down to Sublime Seafoods, and they'll lend me a jacket, because they got a dress code, too. Oh, wait, that won't Jeez, work. Cute. dress code. Why is those bonds out on mm. dress codes? Maybe they'll let me use one for a while if I ask nicely. Could be, son. Could be. But I doubt it. Will must look so fancy. Ugh. I spoke with your neighbor. He says you took one mm. of his golden coconuts. Well, that figures. I didn't take nothing. He's got that darn palm tree hanging over my fence, mm. dropping those silly, shiny coconuts in my yard. I just picked one up to prove a point is all. He's always getting his shorts in a bunch about I something. Well, sure um, he picked it up in the first it. place, He'd but really like it back. yeah, he we should knew this palm tree away. Back. Besides, I'm putting it to really good use. What are you using hmm. it for? A paperweight. It's real heavy. What if I find you a new paperweight? Ah, horse feathers. <laughs> All right, fine. If you can find something you can replace it with, be my guest. It's just down the hall. Thank uh, you, Kidoki. Mr. Ah. Cowfish, sir. I was curious, Mr. Hmm. Cowfish. Why don't you live in a big old mansion like all these other people? You think a man's house says something about him? I'll let you in on a little secret. A humble man is a happy man. Don't let yourself huh. get caught up in all them our fancy hooplas. Before you know it, all your luxuries have turned into necessities. What about That's a quite heated poor pool? Mold, That'd be nice, huh? Yeah, actually, a heated pool would rock. Well, I've got to yeah. go. Talk to you later. Get along, little doggy. It's okay. Now he goes back room. I can get the gold cooked up. So is it a sneak for no reason? Don't know why the epic music's needed. Arr! Oh my dear God! Have his credits to repair that. Wow, so like, a golden coconut. It's not like we're steamy from him. Like he proved us a ticket from him. So I don't know what point this is for. Whatever. Let's take the gold coconut and put a normal coconut there. Wow, a normal coconut. Bet I could swap it with the golden coconut. No. Those must be relatives of Cowfish Craig's. Hmm. Yes, yeah, I must a click on. Pipe. Apart from this. Hmm, it's booked there. Those, 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 must be re those must be relatives of... Okay, we get SpongeBob. Can we... There's something else to click on? Let's just leave. Plus the epic Hello. drums. No custom music is... Well. It goes on a loop. <laughs> but, okay, we've got the golden coconut. We can now give it back to that witch snob. I think its real name is... Carlton Wits. My golden coconut. <laughs> well, let's just give it to him. I got your golden yeah, that's coconut back. Oh, my precious golden coconut. My precious. My my precious. precious. <laughs> Thank you so much, strange <laughs> square thing. Let me give you your reward. Here you are. Okay, and. A quarter. A quarter? Well, I don't carry much cash on me. Sorry. Gee, thanks. Thanks, you selfish snob. For giving just a quarter. She's yourself. I hate, I hate you. Well, now we have a quarter. We can now use that phone to call supply and seafoods. Because Calvish Crate doesn't have a jacket. Carlton Whistle does have a jacket. 
we don't have any, we can't talk to anything more about Sandy, unfortunately. So yeah, here's the sign again. 555-4444. That's the phone number we need to call. So let's do that. So let's enter this phone booth. Put the quarter in. And press in the phone number. Five 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 four 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 four. Hello, this is Sublime Seafoods. How may I help you? I need directions. Where are you guys? We are located at the top of a quaint hill that rises from the camp. Forest. We are clean fridge. Breathtaking, I assure you, madam. I'm not a madam. Oh, <laughs> I apologize, mademoiselle. How silly of me. Try again. Oh, my goodness. A thousand apologies. Sir? You got it! Well, sir, Spud was we are not a very gal. easy to find. We are located just south of Waverly Hills. Great, thanks! Adieu, sir. And with that, we got a new location to go to, which is the Blind Seafoods. And now it's just because not all women had high-pitched voices, jeez. And we filled the whole map already. <laughs> so, the answer's Lee Kanye, and let's take a sneak peek at Sublime Seafoods. Sublime Hmm. Well, unfortunately, it's a bear in a way, so I might as well talk to this guy. Excuse me, I'm just passing through. That's what you think. Nobody gets up these stairs without an invitation. Invitation? To what? Sublime Seafoods mm. is having a party this evening to celebrate the unveiling of their new slogan. Sorry, it's by invitation only. Oh, really? Jeez, you're grouch. What's the new slogan? I don't know. Something real catchy, I expect. <laughs> catchy. Seafood! Get it? Boom! <laughs> no. Move along! Look, I really need to get in there. It's extremely important. Well, you can't. Now shove off! Don't make me come wow, out you're there. Wow, you They don't call me the bouncer for nothing. Please, please, Mr. Bouncer. I'll be your best friend. Okay, that does it. I'm coming out. Get ready to say hello Jeez, to my little Jeez, you have such a straw temper. Uh-oh. Being worse than Squidward. Now why are you making such a commotion? <laughs> <laughs> You're the bouncer. I no. thought we had a no grouchy voice, but it's actually kind of sure tiny. Got a couple more of you in there? What is this twaddle? The bottom line is this: no invitation, no entrance. Simple. Oh, all right. Now get moving. Bye. Screw you, Tony. Bye again. The bottom line is this. Nope, I'll get moving. Well... I hate you. I hate you so much. Well, in the next episode of Let's Play Sponsor Point Up, we must find a way to get invitation. Either that or we be sneak around here and break into Supply and Seabulls. I don't know, so... It's working Who, and I'll probably see you for the finale, I think. So, it's Who, and I'll see you later, guys. Buh bye bye